Tina from HauntedFlower.com and HauntedFlowerReviews.com and today I'm going to be reviewing Sherlock Holmes Game of Shadows. In fact, he even calls it a shadowy game at one point. Once again, Robert Downey Jr. reprises his role as Sherlock Holmes and he's joined by Jude Law who is playing Dr. Watson. This film is, again, as much about their relationship as the last film, as in this one, Watson is finally preparing to get married. And you can tell Holmes is a little bit threatened by that, but he is covering it up by being really, really invested in this mystery. This time, it's a big rivalry between two adversaries, and the other one is Dr. Moriarty. He's played by Jared Harris, and the two of them are very much... Two chess players moving things around on the board, solving mysteries, and there are a lot of great action sequences like running through the woods and fighting on a train, and the last location of the movie is really, really beautiful. This film is again directed by Guy Ritchie, so if you didn't like the stunts he pulled in the first film, like slow motion punches, speed up, deflect knife, punch, blah, bullet go through tree, then you're probably not going to like this one. But if you did like the first one, you will definitely like this one. I was very concerned about whether the second one would be able to live up to the hype of the first, since it was kind of a big deal. It was very surprising and refreshing. I didn't know how it was going to turn out, and I really liked it. And this one was the same way. I really liked it. Numi Rapace, Rapace, uh, I'm sorry, I can't say her name correctly, but um, she played Lisbeth Salander in the original the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. As she plays a gypsy, but she is not a romantic interest to any of them. She's kind of there just to be a girl in the movie. And that's kind of what Rachel McAdams was in the first Sherlock Holmes movie, but I digress. This character is searching for her brother, and Holmes is trying to help her because it all ties into the mystery he is trying to solve against his big rival. I really like the dialogue and the camaraderie between Holmes and Watson once again. There are some fantastic scenes in here, and Holmes definitely tries to live up to this master of disguise reputation that he's developing. I really wish that one of the disguises hadn't been revealed in the trailer. I think it would have been so much more funny if I hadn't seen it in the trailer, but there's a lot of good stuff in here. So if you like the first Sherlock Holmes, you will definitely like this one, and you should go see it because it is fun. It is a thinking movie. I like seeing intelligent movies that aren't completely spoon-fed to you, and it is a good time. Thank you for watching my review, and I hope you'll join me again next time for another movie review. Bye-bye! For more reviews and to find out about free contest giveaways, go to hauntedflowerreviews.com. My reviews are also available as a podcast on iTunes. Search for Haunted Flower Reviews and subscribe and leave us feedback and comments. Our store is hauntedflower.com, where we specialize in fantastic licensed apparel from movies, TV shows, video games, anime, and more. So you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash hauntedflower and Twitter at haunted underscore flower. If you're local to the Indianapolis area, visit IndieMojo.com for details on how you can win free screening passes.